Hello coders, uh, thank you for watching this video first. Uh, my name is Adrian and uh, during this video I will uh, build an, uh, an open source product uh, provided by the Epson platform. Uh, it's a simple admin dashboard uh, uh, designed by a creative team and uh, the product is free it's anyone can access the source code without uh, making a, an account on our on our platform of course we are glad to to have you on board but it's not it's not a must uh, the product it's uh, we think it's quite well documented here the documentation it's it's, it's publicly accessible um, also you can uh, see how the product looks like before you build and uh, spare some time to look at the code. We have here the, the live demo right from the product page. Uh, just click, we have some default credentials. Just uh, click on the, on the login, you have pages. The interface is already integrated into the Flask application. So uh, if you decide to start a new project on top of this design, you just grab the code and, and uh, build your stuff. Uh, the product is released under the MIT license, so it's suitable for uh, commercial or hobby projects. Uh, now back to, the, back to the product. Let's uh, grab the source code and uh, see something on our screen uh, the basic steps to, to build the product is to is to access the help or the github repository and uh, follow the instructions uh, listed on the readme file so I will just copy paste the, the build instructions into my workstation Okay, this source code, I have the source code locally. Now, um, we can build a uh, Flask application uh, in many ways. The recommended way is to use a uh, virtual environment which provides a sandboxed environment for our application. The, the, uh, the big win of using a virtual environment is not to conflict uh, our dependencies with other applications. Maybe we have another Flask application or another Python application that uh, requires other versions and uh, using a virtual environment we are not conflict, we, we don't have any conflicts with other other uh, applications. So it's the recommended way but it's optional, it depends on you and if you are familiar with the concept uh, in this video I will create a virtual environment here because I have many many web applications and I prefer to, to use uh, to isolate the dependencies for, for this particular application this might take a while because the, the virtual environment will clone your entire Python environment into a local directory so it's basically a copy and uh, uh, this might take a while a lot of uh, files and libraries will are copied into the new folder until the, the creation of the virtual environment is done um, we can take a look at the readme file so uh, the application is, uh, is, is provided with a simple uh, authentication flow, database. Um, we have here uh, the application has a modular design with blueprint, blueprint uh, forms validation. You can easily uh, deploy the application using Docker, Unicorn and, and Jinx and also on Heroku with one one command typed in, in, in the in the terminal. Okay, this is done. After we create the virtual environment we need to activate 
the the virtual environment. Oh, sorry, that that was for uh, for window uh, for Linux systems. Okay, now we need to install the dependencies. This might take a while because uh, the dependencies are uh, downloaded from uh, from the internet and uh, also they are compiled locally. Uh, for newcomers, uh, the Python does that uh, to um, to to have a successful execution into your environment. So uh, this phase is done. Now, in order to start a Flask application, we need to uh, provide at least one, uh, to set up at least one variable in our environment, which is name with the name flask underscore app, just to inform uh, uh, flask uh, what, what file uh, should be executed first. Now, uh, we can start application using flask run. Using this uh, this command, uh, Flask will uh, use the embedded uh, server to to execute our application. Uh, so we need to access this address in the in the browser. So by default, application uh, will um, uh, redirect all the guests uh, are not out. All guest users to the to the login page because uh, the the private pages and private menus are protected by the authentication, are guarded by the authentication. So uh, if we try to to use the default user, this will not will not work. The application is not provided with any default user. We need to create one. Let's create one. We'll take one minute. Test. Let's say test. Test apps with yes pass simple password. So the user is created. Let's again. Oh, and the application now unlocks all the all the menus and all the uh, all the pages. The the UI is is quite nice. We have some some basic pages here in the profile page. We can see that our uh, credentials are injected into the into the page. So we we've, we've created previously the username with the name test, and here is the email address we we use to to register. Let's create another user. Test two. Test two. Test two at AppSeed and the same simple password. So the application you can log in using the the new the new user. Okay, and if we go to the user profile, we will see that the new user is injected into the page. So uh, the application is simple, as I said. Uh, it has a modular design. It's quite simple. It mm, has a nice license. You can use the code without making an account on our platform because we are super um, um, connected to the open source ecosystem. We we provide many many applications for free because this is our uh, business model. Um, of course, you can, uh, in case you don't like this design, we have here a huge list with other designs provided by some well-known agencies like Creative Team, like uh, Colorlib. Uh, we have here some designs from Flatlogic, uh, Core UI, so all 
those applications are free so just grab the code and start something cool uh, of course uh, if you want some uh, some premium dashboards we we provide also some prem dashboards so uh, black dashboard we have a pro dashboard uh, the UI it's uh, uh, it's the premium version of the of the UI kit from the team provider and also you in case you want to to buy a commercial product you will have 24 7 live support via discord so soon we will hit uh, around 100 uh, users on discord so we are here uh, 24 7 to, to help developers to to pass pass over any blocking points they have so guys, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Adrian, aka Smoke, on uh, different platforms like uh, Dev or Twitter. And uh, please stay tuned for another videos and uh, another other presentations regarding the what we provide with uh, with our platform. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.